The Carolina Hurricanes have had a very, very busy week this week between re-signing Martin Natchez, Max Pacioretty going out with injury, as well as other events being hosted here in Raleigh. And we will go over all of that in today's episode of Locked on Hurricanes. Your Locked on Hurricanes, your daily podcast on the Carolina Hurricanes. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Hey there, Kaniacs. I'm your host, Jared Ellis, and you're listening to Locked On Hurricanes on the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. And as always, you can find this show on Twitter and Instagram at LO underscore Hurricanes. Myself on Twitter at Jared Ellis underscore 96. And in today's episode, we will be diving into the busy week that the Carolina Hurricanes have had. It seems like every time I come to sit down to record, oh, there's something new going on. So starting off with the good news, we'll talk about this is that Martin Natchez has officially inked a contract extension and he will continue to be suiting up for the Carolina Hurricanes. He has signed a two-year deal worth six million dollars. He will be paid 2.5 million dollars in this upcoming 2022-2023 season and 3.5 million in the 23-24 season. And this is a deal that I, we've talked about before and it was something that we all knew was going to happen. And I kind of likened it back to last offseason with Andre Sveshnikov. He didn't ink his extension until right before training camp. So I wasn't necessarily worried that this deal wasn't going to get done. I think everyone was pretty confident that it would. It was just going to be a matter of how much money and for how long it was going to be. And uh, I think that this bridge deal, I, I think that was the best case scenario right now. Because I do feel that the Hurricanes want to keep him around long term. He is a guy with a lot of upside and can be one that really is a part of this core for the team you know, in the years to come. And I think what may have took this negotiation so long is because of the down year that he had last year. He did not have a very good season last year, in my opinion. He was pretty disappointing, and it wasn't your typical contract year type season that you see from guys. Usually guys will go play their butts off in the contract year, and then the following year is the year where they take a dip. So I feel that you know he was wanting and his agent and you know his party they they were wanting you know the upside uh type pay you know he is a guy with a lot of potential but the hurricanes were saying you know we really like you but you know you had a down year last year and that really hurt his uh negotiating price and you know i i think you know you look at some of the other Hurricanes guys, you know, the playoffs uh, may have hurt them. Uh, you know, he's obviously gone now. He's in Philly, but Tony D'Angelo, he did not have a good playoff. And I feel that may have been something that hurt him. Like, again, you know, he was a guy that he was going to be after a big raise after the year he had. He had the prototypical contract year type year, and he got his raise. But, you know, the Hurricanes weren't willing to pay him what he got. And he's gone now, and I think yeah they they did spend their money better, uh, you know bringing in or re-signing Martin Hs and bringing in the other guys that they did. So I think you know with this deal, uh, he is really going to have to prove himself for sure. And yeah, you know, this is a bridge deal to his big boy contract, and yeah, you know, this is something that I 
thought may happen last year with Andre, but you know he went ahead and you know inked his you know eight year deal. So it, it, it's one that I think he is really going to have to perform well the this coming season and the following season because I really think this is a prove it type situation. Like you know they're like we like you and you do have a lot of upside, but you're really going to have to prove yourself and take that next step. And I do think he really has that potential. Uh, and with the way things have gone this offseason, we'll talk more about that here in a bit. Uh, I think he is really going to have to step up his game. And I think that's going to be something that they're really looking for you know, over this, you know, the course of this contract, you know, I was saying at the trade deadline, you know, with his poor performance that he very well could have been a guy that was on the trade block. Obviously, I'm glad, you know, he didn't get traded because he is a guy that can really, really be something for this team. He just, again, I just think it was a bit of a down year. And I don't think he's hit his ceiling or anything like that. I think you know every professional athlete, whether it's hockey, football, basketball, baseball, whatever, they're all bound to have down years every now and again. And I think that's may have just been what this was for him last year. Obviously, it's one thing for me to sit here in front of a microphone and you know other folks are you know, talking about it on social media and with their friends and whatnot. That's one thing, but we won't really know until. The season starts and the season gets going and how he handles himself this season. He, I really think you know, he can bounce back and I think he will bounce back. It's just going to be a matter of it actually happening and actually coming to fruition. But I, I mentioned he's going to have to step up this year because of other things happening this offseason. That is regarding Hurricanes... Uh, addition this offseason Max Pacioretty who's not going to be suiting up for this team anytime soon and we will dive into that right after this quick break betonline.net is the fastest and easiest way to check in on all of your betting needs find all of your favorite sports and events at the number one online source for odds lines and games find reviews and news for every league, including Major League Baseball, the NFL, NBA, NHL, combat sports, esports, and even golf. The MLB season is in full swing. The NFL preseason just kicked off. And WWE's Clash at the Castle is right around the corner. So Bet Online continues to be the top online resource for all of your sports wagering information from live in-game betting, scores, and podcasts. They have you covered. Head to Bet Online today or use your mobile device to learn more about the action happening right now. Bet Online, where the game starts. Now, earlier this offseason, the Carolina Hurricanes picked up Max Pacioretty in a trade with the Vegas Golden Knights for virtually nothing. I believe it was a fourth or fifth round pick that they had to give up. But again, virtually nothing. They really took advantage of Vegas's cap situation. And Pacioretty. He was earmarked to be the guy to give that hur- the Hurricanes that extra punch when it came to offense. They really needed a goal scorer. They're a very pass-first kind of team, and that was really what they needed, especially losing Nino Niederreiter in free agency. So that was the plan. You know, he had been in Raleigh for a little bit now, practicing and getting ready. I mean, heck. Uh, Jacob Slavin and Brent Burns are here right now uh, down in Morrisville at Invisalign Arena practicing and getting a feel for each other. But Max Pacioretty, earlier this week, he tore his Achilles tendon. And this is not good, obviously. Uh, and he's he just had surgery to have it repaired on Wednesday and is expected to be out for at least six months given with that injury uh i i think six months is a bit more on the generous side and because that is an injury that can definitely take longer to heal than six months and with him being a bit on the older side 
and the Hurricanes being such a hard and fast skating team. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's August now, so we got September, October, November, December, January, February would be late January, early February would be kind of the target time uh, as far as you know six months to the day from the surgery. But it honestly wouldn't surprise me if we're looking more at late February, early March. Uh, obviously, I want to be wrong on that. I really, really do. But I, I would put it more in that time frame of late February, early March for him to come back because I wouldn't want him to chance coming back too early with this injury. And, you know, he's already a guy that's a bit injury prone as is so this is one where i think it's really really going to hurt this team it's really uh throwing a wrench in their plans for the season because again he was supposed to be a guy that really adds some scoring uh you know sebastian Ajo and andre svechkov you know they could only do so much tabo's a pass first kind of guy seth jarvis a lot of upside. He very well could be a guy to step up. March, Martin Natchez as well. Yes, Foss, you know, he's a good scorer as well. But you know, now we're uh, down Vincent Trocheck. We're down Nino Niederreiter. So we're going to have to have some guys really step up. You know, We have Brent Burns there now on the blue line as well. He's a guy that can really uh, put up some points as well. So they they have some tools there to get the job done but we've seen it time and time again during the regular season especially in the playoffs just how goals will dry up and you know a lot of these guys that they have on the team are the guys that have been here when these goals are drying up so it would not surprise me if uh, before too long we see the hurricanes making a deal to kind of hold themselves over uh, when it comes to Pacioretty of making a move uh, for a placement for him because he is going to be out for so long. It's not like he's going to be back in uh, December or anything like that where he's only going to be out a couple months. It ain't going to be like that. He's going to be out a very long time. So... I think that, you know, with this, it's going to be a very interesting situation. It's obviously still very, very early on in this situation. So maybe, you know, they don't make a move. Maybe they roll with the guys they got. Maybe uh, rather than just being uh, Jack Dury coming up from Chicago, maybe it's, you know, another guy as well. So it's going to be a very interesting situation to see what happens here as far as how they handle Pacioretty being out for such an extended amount of time. Uh, and it, it's very disheartening, for sure. A lot of folks were looking forward to him suiting up for the Hurricanes. A lot of folks were really, really excited for him and you know, to be suiting up for the Hurricanes and now him going to be out for so long. Yeah, definitely a lot of folks are disappointed, but at the end of the day, everyone is just wishing him a speedy and well recovery. You know, don't want to have anything where something goes wrong or anything, but he is obviously in a very good uh, city to be getting a surgery. Uh, Raleigh has a lot, a lot, a lot of good doctors and surgeons here, so he's in good hands, and, and now it's just a waiting game and it's even uh, it was a waiting game anyway to see him finally suit up for us but now it'll be an even longer waiting game when we're now waiting till february uh tentatively to see what happens there but we will obviously continue to cover whatever may happen with his situation uh if he's coming back sooner or later if the hurricanes decide to make a move to uh have a replacement for him until he's able to come back we'll obviously discuss all that here on the show but in the meantime the carolina hurricanes over the past couple days have announced uh a couple events that they will be hosting and we will discuss those right after this quick break all right, folks, we are back. And it's now just time to 
talk about some events that the Carolina Hurricanes are hosting. First and foremost, we have the 2022 Prospect Showcase with teams from the Carolina Hurricanes, Nashville Predators, Tampa Bay Lightning, and Florida Panthers. This is going to be really fun. Um, so far, I have not seen anything as far as tickets go to be attending this. Uh I think that may be something that comes out a little bit closer to the event. It will be host, the Carolina Hurricanes will obviously be hosting it uh, September 16th through the 19th. Uh, starts on my 26th birthday, so that'll be fun if it's open. Maybe something to do on my birthday, I don't know. <laughs> but they will be hosted uh, at Invisalign Arena and PNC Arena. And there will be at least 12 prospects on the team's uh, right now, uh, for the Hurricanes, all we know is Ryan Suzuki, Jameson Reyes, and Noel Gundler. And more will be announced uh, closer to the time of the event. And we will obviously talk about that whenever those rosters get revealed. But as far as the schedule for it, on, the sixth, on Friday, September 16th, at 10 a.m., the Hurricanes and Florida Panthers will collide at Invisalign Arena. And then at 1 p.m., it will be the Tampa Bay Lightning and the Nashville Predators. Uh, the Saturday on the 17th, that will just be a practice day. On the 18th uh, at 10 a.m., it will be the Hurricanes and the Predators at PNC Arena. And at 1 p.m., it will be the Tampa Bay Lightning and Florida Panthers at PNC Arena. And Monday the 19th, uh, it will at 10 a.m., it will be the Predators and the Panthers at PNC Arena. And at 1 p.m., the Hurricanes and the Lightning at PNC Arena. So this is going to be a very fun event, especially uh, that one on the 18th because that is also the day of the 5k but before we get into that just a few little details that the hurricanes included in the press release about this prospect showcase i will be reading directly from that quote any skater or goaltender in each of the four organizations on an entry level contract or less provided that they are 24 or younger with fewer than 20 games of nhl experience is eligible to participate in the prospect showcase exceptions may be permitted with prior approval from all teams teams will dress 18 skaters and two goaltenders for each contest consisting of three 20 minute periods followed by a five minute three on three overtime period if the game remains tied after regulation regardless of the final score games will conclude with a five player her team shootout so this is going to be a very fun event and i mentioned i think the one on sunday the 18th will be the really really fun one uh because on that day the carolina hurricanes will also be having their annual 5k definitely a little weird how it got announced so late usually it's announced like a month ago so uh wouldn't surprise me if there was a little bit of scheduling conflicts there or something I i'm not really sure about that uh, but it has been announced and it will take place on Sunday, September 18th at 8.30 a.m. And it will, as usual, have the 5K around PNC Arena and the surrounding area, uh, along with the 100 and 200 uh, yard kids dashes inflatables, as well as uh, appearances from players past and present. Team staff, Stormy will be there, uh, race race pre-registration is already open so you can do that i already have and whenever you do register you'll get uh a ticket to the a 2022 2023 hurricanes home game a t-shirt customized bib a uh, chance to win raffle prices uh post-race breakfast and if you're 21 and older you also get a complimentary beer after the race and actually, uh, breakfast will be served inside PNC Arena, where the Hurricanes will face off against the Predators at 10 a.m. in the Prospect Showcase. So, again, that's going to be a very, very fun day. I am very much looking forward to it, for sure. Uh, and, again, it's going to be a, a lot of fun. I'm going to try to do maybe some fun content for you guys there as well. So... 
this is going to be really fun. Obviously, you know, I did it last year. I walked it with my dog and my girlfriend. Be doing that again this year. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, and I think that this will be a good opportunity to check out some of the prospects, you know, if you're not able to make it to some of the other games. Uh, and it's just a fun opportunity to just hang with some friends and family as well. I'm, again, very much looking forward to this. I think that a lot of Kaniacs were really chomping at the bit to get back out there and do this because, again, it was announced a lot later than it usually is. It's usually announced, I feel like, in July, and now we're close to mid-August. As of right now, it's August 12th. So, yeah, it, I'm really looking forward to this, and I'm looking forward to seeing all of you Kaniacs out there for it as well. But in the meantime... Make sure you are subscribed to Locked on Hurricanes on YouTube, following the show on Twitter and Instagram at LO underscore Hurricanes, and myself on Twitter at Jared Ellis underscore 96. And the next episode will be that 25th anniversary roster. I know he said it was going to be in the next episode, but a lot of stuff happened for the Hurricanes, and we had to get it uh, talking about that stuff. But we'll do that in the next episode. So make sure you have your notifications on and I will talk to you guys in that next episode.